Thanks for watching Virginia This Morning Live right here on CBS 6. Our next guest says he knows what makes people happy. In this segment, he shares the formula with Bill. Take a look. Here's a question for you. Are you happy? Yeah. Our next guest is a former U.S. Marine and an expert in the field of emotional intelligence. He says being a happy person has everything to do with mental toughness. Joining us this morning, great friend of the show, been wanting him to have him on for a long time. I said, can we get somebody positive and happy on the show? And they said, we'll get Eric on the line. He, and he's on this morning. Eric Rittmeyer is uh, with us this morning. Former Marine. And I asked you once before, I said, wait a minute, don't all Marines say they're always a Marine? but you said uh, it's, it's both former's okay you're never supposed to say x you know former's okay you can take the you can take the marine out of the core but you can't take the core out of the marine so yeah. former's all right bill all right so we've got a couple of things here and mental toughness i guess when we think of a marine we think of tough but it's not just physical tough because a, a lot of life is mind over matter and i know we hear that all the time but you're a person who's actually practiced that and lived that and and try to teach us that all the time. So I got several points here that you sent to me and I'm looking at them, one, two, three, four. I do okay on two and not so good on two. So we're gonna start with the first one. D never make assumptions is first. And you know what dad used to say about assuming. So we won't get into that. <laughs> but why should we not make assumptions? Is that not intuitive in some points or what do you mean by that? Well, the issue with assumptions, Bill, a lot of times is we take them out of context. So there's psychological terms called emotional tagging and pattern recognition. So the problem is we recognize patterns, then we tie an emotion to it. We rely on that. It's part of our evolutionary advantage to rely on that. But the issue is a lot of times we tie emotions to patterns that we recognize that are taken totally out of context that might have happened in another event at another time. So we make these assumptions and when we do that. Like you said, you know what happens. It makes you know what out of you and me. So the issue is we have to we have to realize that it's got to be in real time. And when we make these assumptions, we have to make sure we can back it up with real live assessment of what's happening. Yeah, you've got to, you got to know what you're dealing with and use that data to make an educated guess versus an assumption. If I heard you right. Exactly right. Assumptions, they serve us well a lot of times, but and the same on the flip side of the coin there, it's like, you know what, if you if you tie the wrong thought process to the wrong situation, you're going to ruin a relationship, you're going to lose a sale, you're going to get upset with somebody. Yeah. All right. The next thing to keep happy is happy people don't gossip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard what you said about me, Bill. I'm not happy about that. <laughs> all it does, all it does when you gossip, Bill, you know, is it just degrades our own character. It, it robs another person of their reputation. And a lot of times I, we're all culprits of this, right? But, you know, we meet people and we automatically just like, eh, I'm not sure about this person, not sure about that person. And I, I recognize this with my kids. You know, they start to, they, they allow other people to dictate how they're going to feel towards someone they haven't even met yet. And it can ruin relationships. It can ruin families. It can ruin careers. God, Gossiping is a horrible, horrible thing, and especially in this day and age of social media, everybody wants to go in there and be keyboard warriors. Yeah, yeah, and, and it is. Uh, it's so destructive and so negative, and, and I, that's one thing I've worked on my entire life is to try to resist that urge, and, uh, and if you can, it will make you a happier person. All right, here's the one I have a big problem with, and it's, it's, it's on a different level than you've stated it. It says, happy people don't feel sorry for themselves. I'm not sure that that's exactly true about me, but what I do, uh, and I make an assumption all the time, that if some Something's wrong. It's something I did. <laughs> like, and, you know, if it's screwed up, what did I do wrong? And it's like, a lot of times, it's actually not me. Imagine that. Well, here's the, here's the issue. Okay, so we're hardwired as humans to feel first and think later. Anything that happens to us, especially if it's something adverse, we're going to assume that it's something we've done personally because our emotions are guiding us. If we can step back and, and process it logically, so respond to situations as opposed to reacting. So when we react, it's knee jerk, it's emotion based. But the issue is pity parties, especially. You know, it's like when something bad happens, you can be upset, you can be angry, you can be whatever, but dust yourself off, get back up on the get back up on your feet again. It does no Nobody any good, but it's okay to feel sorry for ourselves. That's healthy. We should. It's getting back up after we've been kicked down. That's the problem. All right. The last point we want to bring up, and it's one uh, I, again, have trouble with holding grudges. They're heavy, aren't they, if you got to carry those around? 
They sure are, Bill. And you talk about robbing yourself of happiness. I mean, all we do when we hold grudges is just poison ourselves. We just get upset. We don't let it go. We can't begin to heal if we continue to rehash and relive through. It's almost impossible to be happy if you cannot let go of things. People do bad things. Let's control the things we have total control over, which are our thoughts, our responses. Get over it. Take the take the take the apology, whatever they got. Maybe you gotta cut off the cut off that relationship, but get over it. It's just gonna poison you internally and not allow you to grow and heal. Happy people don't poison themselves, and we're happy to have Eric back on the show with us. <laughs> Always good. Let's schedule you again soon, buddy, okay? Bill, I'd love to see you. Thanks for having me, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, enjoy the rest of your day, pal. And for more information, please, we're going to post the link on our show website by later today, wtvr.com slash VTM. You'll feel better if you check it out. And <laughs> Bill, as, as the kids would say, Eric is the cat's pajamas. Yeah, yeah, he is so special. I enjoy him so much. And, you know, when we saw the topic he wanted to talk about being happy, I'm going, dude, you're a Marine. And I, I just didn't expect that from him. But then I guess I, after I thought about it, I'm going, he's always positive. He's always happy. And there is that, that mental toughness that you got to look at a situation as it exists, not how you think it's going to be. And then uh, if you are able to do that, then obviously you're going to be much happier with yourself. Was there one of those points that you had a problem with, Jess? Out of all of those? <laughs> Did I probably, which one? Did you? Did you hear no, no, one I'm for me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, like, you know, carrying grudge was obviously the last one. Uh, you know, assuming things is one of them. Uh, you know, just doubting yourself, all, all of, of those things. We all have to work on all of that all the yeah. time. Yeah. And, but I think what you were starting to, what you, what you just shared, Bill, I agree with totally. And it, it falls somewhere in the vein of like preconceived notion and judging the book by its cover. Um, look for, look for the good, take a second, look for the good. And maybe then it manifests. That's what I'm pulling out of it today. Okay. Stay around happy and positive people. You'll feel better. So stick around. We'll be back with more Virginia this morning right after this.